Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology with Sumi. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about microbial culture media. So let's start with it. So microbial culture media. As we know, microorganisms require a base media for its growth, development, cell division and these base media can be called as a nutrient media or a culture media. Now this nutrient media helps microorganisms in various ways. It helps in synthesis of food, growth of microorganisms, survival and cell division. Now there are some important basic components of microbial culture media and the components are water. Water is the most important component of a culture media. Further organic compounds, inorganic compounds, indicator dye and agar agar. Agar agar is a solidifying agent. So this is the basic structure or the basic components that are used for a culture media. Now culture media. Culture media is basically of two types. The first one is non-living culture media and second is living culture media. Now this non-living culture media is further divided into three types. Natural media, semi-synthetic media and synthetic media. Whereas living culture media is divided into two types. Embryonic chicken eggs, tissue culture. So this is the basic division of or basic types of culture media. So the first one is non-living media. The first type of media under non-living culture media is natural media. Now this natural media contains natural ingredients like milk, blood and potato etc. Many components, natural components can be used in it. The components which are obtained from living things we can say are used in this media. Now composition of natural media is unknown to us. Secondly, the second is semi-synthetic media. Now, in case of semi-synthetic media, it contains both natural as well as chemical substance in, substances in it. Okay, and here also the composition of semi-synthetic media is not known to us. Now, the third one is synthetic media. Synthetic media is basically made up of all chemical components means here the exact composition of the media is known to us all the com ingredients which we are using we know its exact composition see the exact composition of synthetic media is known. so this was all about non-living media now further on basis of its functions the synthetic media is divided into four types of media the first one is selective media. Selective media contains component that enhance growth of a particular microorganism and suppresses growth of other microorganism. So here the microorganisms which we require or the desired microorganisms growth is enhanced as well as the undesirable microorganisms growth is suppressed. The second is enriched media. Now enriched media it enhances growth of one microorganisms but without inhibiting growth of other microorganisms here the growth of undesirable microorganism is not inhibited but the growth of desired microorganisms which we need is enhanced the third one is enrichment media now enrichment media is a liquid media it increases growth of a particular microorganism in comparison to other microorganisms present in the inoculum. So if we give a particular inoculum, a particular microorganism growth is enhanced as compared to the growth of other uh, undesirable microorganisms. And the fourth one is differential media. Now differential media contains some components that allow us to differentiate in group of uh, differentiate the different groups of bacteria means specially differential media contains some indicator dye so due to which we can differentiate the groups of bacteria on the basis of chemical reactions they carried out okay so this was all about the synthetic media 
now the second type of culture media is living media living media is basically of two types embryonic chicken egg and tissue culture now in case of embryonic chicken egg here a live embryo of chicken egg is used for cultivation of viruses so a live egg is used and here specially it is used for cultivation of viruses now what happens in tissue culture in tissue culture a plant cell or a animal cells are used to cultivate a cell line on a nutrient media and then these cell lines are used for isolation of viruses now specially this type of tissue culture is used for isolation of pathogenic viruses as we know viruses are intracellular parasites they require cells uh, for their growth so this is all about tissue culture as well as culture media thank you for watching my video if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel